Are you trying to use Todoist and Google Calendar together but running into some issues? I've been there and there are some common issues. In this video, we're gonna go through those and see if we can help you out and get your calendar and Todoist playing nicely. I'm Adam Moody with the Productivity Academy and if you'd like to see more great content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so here we are in Todoist, and I'm gonna kind of start from the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my calendar. Um, I went ahead and removed it, so going to go into there. Um, all you need to do is come down here and go into integrations and connect it. I'm gonna go through that real quick. Um, just, of course, it's the Google authorization. Say yes, you want to connect your calendar. And once you do that, you will pop up on this screen and you can either choose to connect it to an existing calendar or to do us a new calendar in there. Um, you can decide um, you know, what you want to sync. Do you want to sync a specific project, all projects? There are some handy setup options you can do here. I'm not gonna go into that because we wanna troubleshoot, um, but basically saying you know, where, um, which project for new Google events do you, know, do you want it to go into and to doist? and a event duration. I'm gonna actually change this to 30 minutes and then tasks without a start time and duration or all day calendar events. Okay, if you assign a task without a start time and duration, should you sync or not sync? All right, that's important. Um, because if you create a task and maybe it doesn't have a start time for a date, if you choose to not sync that, then it won't show up. And that is sometimes a common issue because when you go through here, you think about that and you're like, oh, well, uh, I didn't assign a time to it, so um, it shouldn't go into the calendar. So, you know, you'll need to play around with this and see what works best for you, but that can be a problem. Um, and then completed to do us tasks. This is something you also need to uh, decide for yourself. Is it gonna stay on your calendar as kind of a record of what you've done or should have been doing? or do those clear out and then you can assign things in that place. So just really depends on how you wanna set up. I'm just gonna leave this and we are going to get going. Okay, so it's just finishing up the connection. Um, let's go ahead and close that down and we are going to create a task. So we're gonna call this test calendar task and it is going to be due today um, I'm just gonna add some more text in there and we see, what do we wanna do? We can click today and more importantly, we can assign a time. So getting my face out of the way, let's see right now it's 10 when I'm recording, we'll say 10.30 a.m. duration. Uh, I'm gonna put it for 45 minutes and time zone, um, my current time zone. Okay, so let's save that event and that should definitely show up. Let's go over to my calendar and check that out. So right now, what I can see is I don't see anything. I connected my calendar. What's going on? All right, don't freak out. Uh, one of the most common ones after you've set this up, if you're in your browser, is make sure you refresh your calendar browser. All right, so let's go ahead and do that and see what happens. And over here, you can see now we've got a Todoist uh, calendar that popped up, and we see that we've got some common issues um, but it's showing up as an all day thing. So uh, if we turn that off, it disappears, turn it on and it goes in there. So let's check this out. We have that assigned for today at 10.30 to 11.15. And let's go back and check our settings and see if that makes sense. Customize. All right, Todoist label, uh, Todoist sync, uh, all day Google should sync. Okay, so I think that that actually should be showing up as a specific time. Uh, let's go in and this is kind of fun and we can view the source and it just takes us back into the exact task, which is handy. So we can see it's due today. Let's see if it's actually time. Interesting, we see Let's go 30 minutes. And I am going to say again, save that. Let's go ahead and do that. And now go back. There we go. So interesting that they, we saw them change, uh, but this is a good example of kind of troubleshooting what's going on if you see things um, not exactly uh, working. So 
we, uh, I think that was because I had the two, uh, the one I set up to show you took a minute to sync and then the other one. So I'm gonna leave this in here because I think this is a good example of how it can be a little confusing when you see stuff happening. So let's make another task and not assign it anything. We're just gonna say assigned to no time, just a day. And we're gonna have that for tomorrow. And I'm gonna add a description just to have some text in there and let's send it. So now if we go over, there we go. So it just pops in as a all day or a daily and it, n it gets no time slot. And if we go back in here, let's figure out where I was. I'm gonna go into my inbox so that I can see all the stuff coming up. And let's change it to a specific time and watch that change. We're gonna say an hour and sure, 10, 15 a.m., save it close it and let's go back to the calendar and see what happens. It's probably gonna take a minute, there we go. So we just saw it sync and there it is. Um, so those are the big ones is again, have make sure you refresh your tab if it's the first time or you're reconnecting. That can be confusing because it looks like nothing has happened. So that's the first thing we did. Did you assign it a time that the task should start? That will depend again on your settings and the integration. Uh, but also where or when it shows up here or as an all day. And then is the calendar enabled over here? Perhaps you were changing something, you needed to toggle it on or off. It's simple, but it can be easy to overlook. All right, if you have any questions, comments about this or other issues with Todoist in your calendar, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to get back to you.